Hi, so today I have Mariana Hewitt with me. Mariana is a blogger. I love following her on Instagram because she gives great fashion advice and fashion tips. She's going to Taylor Swift tonight. So the makeup is just very like um, fall inspired. It has beautiful purple and plummy hues uh, in the eye makeup. And I just wanted to bring out Mariana's natural beauty. She's gorgeous. So I hope you like this tutorial. Don't forget to give it some thumbs up leave some comments and I also filmed a tutorial with Mariana on her channel so you should go and check out uh, Mariana Hewitt's YouTube channel and I give five tips of my favorite makeup products. I hope you like it and I see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. Okay, so I'm going in with my Maestro foundation by Giorgio Armani in 6.5 on Mariana. I just really want to quickly mention that um, it's really beautiful on you. It just it kind of looks like your own skin. Mm -hmm. And uh, we talked about it earlier. Like you said, also you like makeup, but you still want to look like yourself and you don't want to look like you're wearing too much makeup. So I think you'll really like this. How do you apply foundation so it doesn't look like you are wearing a ton of foundation? Uh, that's a really good question. I just think it's really important to blend it and to buff it in. Um, and then also I like using a beauty blender mm -hmm. afterwards, a damp beauty blender, and I like really buff it in. And it almost takes a little bit off again and it just looks more natural. And now I'm going in with my Brow Wiz in medium brown. Um, I'm gonna just uh, do a very pretty natural brow. Um, for that, I'm just doing like light, light little strokes here uh, in the front and then I'm filling in this part and I'm also going to give you a little bit of an arch. And I'm going to also bring in this little brow gel here by Ico, which I really like. It's tinted and I think it's a really nice way of finishing your brow and it also just adds almost a little bit more texture to your brow and uh, almost like hair-like um, texture. So it's a really nice uh, little uh, addition to the brows on top of it. And I'm gonna come in with my NARS primer. I like using a primer before eyeshadow, especially Mariana, you're going to a concert tonight, right? Mm -hmm. Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. <laughs> um, I think it's nice to, um, just if you want your makeup to last a uh, long wearing, it's a nice thing to add a little bit of a primer. And now for your eye makeup, I'm starting off with my Anastasia Artist Palette and I'm going to go with this Dusty Rose. I love this color. Transitional color or you can also just use it in the, in the crease, but I'm going to put it like kind of all over the lid. And then I'm going to go in with my Kevin Acroix um, Palette, which this one is new, the number 216. And I'm going to do this one in the crease and this one on the lash line. And for that I'm using a clean 217 brush and I'm going to bring that right in here. You look great in these shades, beautiful colors. And I think these shades work really well for like a lot of skin tones for fall, oh, it's yes. really pretty. Absolutely, and different eye colors too. I love this uh, purple really uh, with darker eyes like brown but it also looks really beautiful with like green or mm -hmm. even blue eyes, like it's a great, great color. All right, I'm also going to bring in this uh, gorgeous Tom Ford palette right in here. I think this is a special edition, but I'm not quite sure. So I'm going to do this like really purpley color right here. And I'm going to also pop that kind of like on the outer corner and then bring it more inwards. And I'm also going to um, bring in this color right here. And just marry the colors together. And I'm bringing this darker shade on the lash line. And for that I'm using a dome brush. Just bring it as close as possible to the lash line. And then you can also bring it a little bit um, in your crease, but on your lower crease. 
and then you need to blend this again. So I just also brought in this lighter color just to accentuate that brow bone here a little bit more. And then I'm going to come back with my Anastasia palette. I'm using the Dusty Rose. Open up and I'm going to bring that Dusty Rose on the lower lash line. And I feel like it's not enough, so I'm going to go back in with this color by Kevin O'Croix. I know it's a lot of colors, I'm sorry. And I'm going to bring that just really close to the lash line. Just to intensify it a little bit more. Now I'm going to bring in this Benefit uh, Real Push-Up Liner. Uh, I know that you are a fan of mm. this product too and yes. I just recently discovered it. It's a gel liner in a pen form. You have to kind of figure out the amount you're using but it's a really good product. It really helps here on the outer corners to create that little wing. And then I like to do it really thinly in the inner corners. And then I go gradually thicker outwards. And we're going to do a little bit of a wing on the outer corner. And now I'm going to bring in this Giorgio Armani Eyes to Kill mascara, which I really like. I'm just going to do a small amount of coating because I'm bringing in this NARS um, strip lash. And I really like these. These are the number seven. I'm going to put them on right afterwards. So I'm going to do a light little coat of this mascara. And then I'm going to do the lashes really quickly off camera. I'm going to put a little bit of mascara also on the lower lashes. All right, so we just added those lashes. They're amazing on you. And I'm going to bring in this Tom Ford pencil. It's a really beautiful, like purpley color. So I just want to add a little bit more drama on the lower lash line and it just kind of ties the whole makeup together and I'm going to just kind of focus on the outer on the outer corner really close to the lash line. I'll do the same on the other side. Again, we uh, start open up. We start on the outer corner and deposit most of the product and then kind of just push push it inwards halfway. I'm not going to do this on the entire lash line. Perfect. So we are done with your eye makeup, Mariana. I'm going to bring in this MAC Moisture Concealer and this one is the NW20 and I'm going to um, use that right underneath here. And to blend this out, I like using my little baby LPD <laughs> blender. So and cute. It's really cute and it's really important that you make it wet so it's damp much easier to blend the product that way and that ties everything together and just makes your um, eye makeup pop even more now and then I'm going to bring in the lighter version which is number 15 this is just a really gorgeous color and I really like this one just for a little bit more highlight right in here and you can even bring this on the bridge of your nose and a little bit right in here and then we'll just blend it in. I like to powder this now with my number two in Charlotte Tilbury. Just powder so we don't, um, you know, prevent it from creasing, especially if you're going out. You want this makeup to last all night. A little bit in the T-zone area. So right in here. And then now I'm going to bring in my contour we're going to do a little bit of contouring and a little bit of bronzing the tom ford this shade right in here and i'm going to do this on a synthetic brush i'm going to contour you right in here just to carve out your bone structure right there and then we're going to blend it you can also bring this a little bit right underneath here a little bit right in here. I'm going to blend this in round circular motions. I'm also going to bring it a little bit in the temple and a little bit right here on your forehead. 
And then for an all over bronzy effect, I'm going to bring in my all time favorite terracotta here by Gola. Smells so good. Yeah. I love this product. Oh, yeah, it's such a good <laughs> smell. I'm just going to put that on top of the contour just for a little bit more of bronzing effect. And don't forget to bring it also in your temple, your forehead, a little bit right here in your chin area. You can even drag it down. We just put on the bronzer and a few more little steps. This one here is another Armani product, which I love this color number six. I feel like it ties in really beautiful with the eye makeup. This doesn't have a lot of shimmer. So I'm just for a pop of color right here on the apples of your cheeks. And just it just kind of like ties the entire makeup together, I feel like. And now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of a highlighter. And the one I chose here is by Becca gorgeous highlighter and we just found out Marianne and I both mm -hmm. love this highlighter. It's so pretty. And I'm just going to put that on the upper cheekbone right here to add a bit of a glow. Also if you're being photographed it just adds a little bit more dimension to your face. You can even bring it a little bit down on the bridge of your nose and a little bit here on your cupid bow. All right, so we're almost done. Um, I have a few more little steps to the lips. So they're a little bit on the drier side right now. So I just got this. This is a really nice product by Sisley and it's just a lip balm. So I'm just moisturizing them a little bit with my hands just to add a bit of, of nice sheen to them. And then after that, I'm doing a lip liner. This one I think is gorgeous for you, stripped down. And then we're going to put a little bit of a gloss on top of that. I'm just going to do the liner. I'm not going to overdraw anything like that. I just want to add a bit of color. And I think that um, your lip color, it's just like it brings out the whole makeup if it's a touch darker for you. That's a really beautiful color for you. You could wear this by itself, I think would be just perfect. All right, and I'm going to add a bit of this lip gloss here by NARS. It's called Larger Than Life. Tiber is the name of the color. And I love this color. I feel like it's a perfect, a kind of darker nude for you. Really beautiful. And uh, it's not too sticky and not too glossy, but it just adds a bit more color. And uh, that is the final makeup look for Taylor Swift tonight. <laughs>